In a previous video, we focused on an overview of the cell cycle uh, looking at interphase. In this video, we're going to take a more in-depth look at the emphase, which occurs right after interphase in the cell cycle. So we have uh, some diagrams here. We're going to start with A. When I look at A, I see that these chromosomes have become visible. And that's what happens during prophase. The chromosomes become visible. And then it wants me to label number one, uh, nine, and 10. So when we look at number one, we see some uh, things shooting out. And these uh, things are called spindle fibers. And they're shooting out. And these form during the G2 phase. These are what we call the centrioles. And they shoot out spindle fibers and they'll attach to the centromere. Looking at number nine, we see that this whole thing is a chromosome. And that's what it's referring to there. And all of this is part of prophase. And then number 10, we're looking at this membrane surrounding where you can find the chromosomes. And we find our chromosomes, our DNA, inside the nucleus. This is what we call the nuclear membrane or the nucle nuclear envelope. Either one would be fine. I call it, with my students, the nuclear envelope. You can call it the same, but the nuclear envelope and the nuclear membrane are the same uh, thing. All right, so we go over to B. After prophase comes uh, the next part, which is metaphase. And even if um, I didn't have prophase uh, before, there's a dead giveaway that we're in metaphase, and it's where these chromosomes are lined up. They're lined up right in the middle, and when they're lined up in the middle, I know that we're in metaphase. So here we have our centrioles, and this time they want us to identify number two and that what is shooting out of it. And this is what we call spindle fibers. And these will attach to the centromere, which is right here in the center of each chromosome, and start pulling them apart, which brings us to the next phase, anaphase. And this is where they start pulling the chromosomes apart. So here, we're not pointing to the whole chromosome. We're pointing to what's called the chromatid. So this is the chromatid. And this brings us to the next phase, telophase. And remember, we said telophase and cytokinesis happen at the same uh, time. The cell's getting ready to split into two new cells. But telophase is not when the cell splits. That actually happens during cytokinesis, which happens around the same time as uh, telophase. So right, what it's pointing to, you may be thinking it's the cytoplasm here in cytokinesis. The cyto is, uh, the cytoplasm is splitting, um, and it is pointing to the cytoplasm, but we need to write uh, two daughter cells. That's what it's referring to, is this cell splitting, and it's going to result in two daughter cells. The other thing you could write is the cytoplasm will split because it's not splitting yet it will split and when it splits it will split during cytokinesis and that brings us to e and you might be saying well pmat we've done prophase metaphase anaphase telophase what's the last phase here can't be cytokinesis because the cell that would happen the same time as telophase and you're right and we said after uh telophase and cytokinesis the cell goes back to g1 s and g2 and that is interphase. And when we are in interphase, the chromosomes aren't visible. They're a tangled mess and they literally look like this. You can draw here. It's just a tangled mess and we call that chromatin. The chromosomes aren't visible. As they start to spread out, they will become visible. Then we have eight. These are the centrioles and they will mature during uh, G2. Then we have this dark mass inside the nucleus, and this is the nucleolus. And then we're left with this thing right here, which surrounds the cell, and that would be the cell membrane. You could also write the plasma membrane. Either way would be fine. So that takes us through the in-depth cycle of the M phase, which is prophase, metaphase, anaphase, and telophase. If you have any questions, post a comment below. I hope you found this video helpful. We'll see you guys in the next video.